We all love the Super Mario games. For years they've entertained us all and millions of people own these titles. And there's one style of Super Mario game that is the most popular out of all. The 3D titles like Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. However, for a very long time these titles were only for the home consoles that Nintendo produced. Sure, they actually sold portable devices, but for an incredibly long time these machines couldn't create and run a 3D world. Only when the Nintendo DS was released this new style of game was possible on the go, but they had to remake an older title in order to even pull it off. However, there was actually going to be another 3D Super Mario title on this handheld console. A more modern one. Super Mario Galaxy DS. But in the end, we didn't get anything. There was a trailer for it, but it was never released. So what happened? Well, let's look into that. Now, Super Mario Galaxy came out in 2007 for the Nintendo Wii, a weird console built around motion controls, even though this game didn't use them much. Only in some small segments or things here and there. This was the third main Mario 3D platformer, and the follow-up to Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. Upon its release, Super Mario Galaxy received some of the highest review scores of any Wii game to date, and since its release, the game has sold nearly 13 million copies, making it the ninth best-selling Wii game. But then, it happened. Rumors about a new version of Super Mario Galaxy for the DS started to spread, and people became excited. But many didn't believe it would actually happen, because obviously the DS wasn't powerful enough, and then this happened. In December of 2007, footage surfaced online of an alleged DS port of Super Mario Galaxy that could be downloaded. According to the claims, players could download this port by collecting every Power Star in the Wii version as both Mario and Luigi and then feeding them to a hungry Luma, which would allow players to download it via download play. The DS version supposedly had co-op multiplayer with Mario and Luigi, and every Power Star collected in it would count for 10 points on the Wii Shop channel. So you could even earn more stuff and games by playing this title. And so, as you could have expected, people went absolutely crazy for this. A lot of them really hoped this was true, and so many tried to make it work. But in the end, nothing happened. No one was able to download or even play this so-called DS version of Super Mario Galaxy. And eventually, it was even revealed that the footage that was uploaded belonged to a man named Pablo Belmont, a well-known creator of Nintendo-themed hoaxes. He's actually pretty well known for this stuff and made multiple other fake videos throughout the years, like one of a better looking Majora's Mask, maybe some sort of remake, and even a new version of Super Mario 64 that looked incredibly weird. So once again he fooled everyone. Nintendo was never working on a DS version of the game, and if they were it wouldn't be free. And there were actually signs of it being completely fake. For example, you can see a world in the trailer known as the Star World. It looks a lot like Good Egg Galaxy, but at the end of the day, it was never seen in the game because it was actually used for demo purposes. You know, back when Super Mario Galaxy wasn't fully released yet and the press wanted to get their hands on it? So people could have noticed right away that there was something off with this so-called DS version of the game. Aside from it being uploaded by a random channel and not being verified or confirmed by Nintendo whatsoever. And so a lot of people were beyond depressed when they found out it was fake. But then something magical happened. Someone actually made a DS version. There is actually a very talented homebrew enthusiast working on a version of Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo DS. And I guess they're doing this for fun. But hey, maybe some of them also saw the original hoax trailer which got them excited, but in the end it was a lie of course. And so they decided to make it themselves. Now, I don't know if this is the case, but it could be true. Now, they've been working on it for a very long time now, and we first saw a glimpse of it four years ago when they released a small tech demo. It was even tested on real hardware, which shows off that if you downloaded this or one of the other tech demos and loaded it on a card, it could actually work. 
But back then, he also said that he ended the development for this project, sadly enough, stating that he wanted to make it more like other 3D Mario games. Now in the video, you can see the level Beach Ball Galaxy, and it looks amazing for the fact that it runs on DS hardware. And the crazy thing is, the game isn't just a modified version of Super Mario 64 DS, as most people would expect. That would be the easiest way to get a game like this running after all, even though it wouldn't be perfect. Actually, the developer named Jesse made a brand new engine in the end for all of this to work. So this stuff is incredibly impressive, and made from the ground up. But this is all we were gonna get. Well, that's what people actually believed at the time. But luckily enough, he continued working on it. And so in the last couple of years, he created more. And around a year ago, he uploaded a new video that showed off Hurry Scurry Galaxy in action. And everything you're looking at right now, all the footage and audio, is captured on an actual DS. Sure, there are still some missing sound effects, but it actually works really well, which is shocking. Back when The Witcher 3 was ported to the Nintendo Switch, I was already impressed because I thought it would have been impossible. But this seems even more impossible to me. Now in the end, they actually made a couple more levels and you can actually play these if you download the latest demo. Now the first world you encounter is a demo level. One that is very similar to a lot of others seen in the files of games like The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. It's just there to test stuff out. But there are also real levels in it. Three in total actually. Like the Mario Squared Galaxy which works for the most part, but sadly enough the lava doesn't do anything. And then you have the Sky Station Galaxy, which also works for the most part, but not completely as you can see right here. And last but not least, you have the Hurry Scurry Galaxy, which you saw before. And this one clearly works the best out of all of them. Also, it's quite interesting to see that some of these maps are actually from Super Mario Galaxy 2, which shows he clearly wanted to include more into this little fan game, like I stated earlier. But he ended up sticking with the Super Mario Galaxy titles though. Now as you can see, it's nowhere near done. Even the maps that have been released don't work completely or properly. But that's understandable, since he is trying to make it work for the Nintendo DS and he is using a completely new engine that he built himself. But I'm not sure if we will ever see this thing finished, because it's a fan game after all and we all know how Nintendo can be. Usually they aren't a big fan of ROM hacks or even emulators, and this one kind of falls into both categories. So the likelihood that this project will remain playable and on the internet is quite low, sadly enough. As soon as Nintendo even mentions this game or the creator, it will most likely disappear from the internet. But at least we've all seen it now, so it will forever live on in our minds. And hey, maybe we will actually see a finished version of this game one day. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to do, if you want me to do more stuff like this, so cover more hoaxes and like fan games, ROM hacks, other cool stuff, I would love to do that. There's a lot of weird stuff floating out there, like for example, a rumor about a 3DS version of Twilight Princess and other stuff and I've covered some of this stuff on my Game Architects channel, one of my uh, my other channel that I used to do back in the day. Uh, but a lot of this stuff got updated, and new stuff got made, and new hoaxes got released, and blah blah blah. So there's a lot more I could do. If you want me to do more of this, tell me in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe and click the bell button. I love that.